Thanks for joining me for the Cards TV, Cards Design Team Challenge. Um, for this week, we are doing a Mother's Day card. I'm using the Cards TV Stamps Mother's Day. Now, I, what I like about this um, sentiment stamp set is that there's stamps on here that you don't necessarily just can use on Mother's Day cards. Um, my favorite one is Mothers Hold Their Children's Hands for a While, Their Hearts Forever. Just think that's the sweetest stamp. Um, the other one, the one in particular I'm using today is for my grandma, and it's for my grandmother on Mother's Day. All right, so um, I'm sorry about the glare. I'm noticing my lamp is kind of glaring on that um, Spellbinders package there. And I'm going to start out with a white uh, A2 size 65 pound weight cardstock. That's from Recollections, and I'm going to do a black layer, which is just slightly under um, five and a half by uh, four and a quarter. I wanted to show a little bit of white around it, but not too much because there's not any white in the rest of the layers of the card. So I'm just applying glue on the very edge of that black piece, and I believe that's a Recollections. I do a lot of my shopping at Michael's. It's literally three miles from my house. Um, danger, right? <laughs> Trying to get that on there straight. Um, so one thing I do like about the Tombow glue is it gives you time to adjust your um, embellishments or your layers before that it dries. Then I have this piece of um, scrap here that I had bought. It's a Graphic 45 and um, it's called Birdsong Collection. And I had actually made some cards several years ago for the um, orphaned Japanese children uh, from the tsunami that hit them. And I, for some reason I saw this and I just thought it was really cute that they would enjoy the little butterflies. And on the back of it's really, um, with some really pretty uh, umbrellas. That is Die Cuts with a View. And it's like a tan color. And um, I'm explaining here that what I'm going to be doing is using that heart um, die set. And there it is right there. I ran it through my Big Shot. Now, um, you know, I neglected to put the small one on there as well. And you'll see at the end of this video that I actually did die cut the smallest heart. And I put it on there. And it, it looks like as if I had die cut it like those there. So it worked out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hear those down. Um, a suggestion if you want a little bit more dimension character to the card you can run that one layer that I have the hearts cut out through an embossing folder um, whether you wanted to put you know run it through like a flowered one or um, uh, one that has butterflies whatever you would like to do now I'm discovering right now that that um, butterfly paper that I cut out is crooked so here's an advantage again about the Tombow you can pick it up. Um, sometimes if you use your Cricut spatula or your Silhouette spatula, you can um, kind of get it in between those and, and scrape it up without anything ripping. So I'm just going to shave, oh, n not even eighth of it off there, but just enough to make it so that it's even. And I don't know if you noticed it, but my card actually stuck underneath my um, paper trimmer. <laughs> and at this point, I'm looking on my desk going, well, where'd that card go? And then I realized, oh, there it is, under my paper trimmer. Now it's even. Make sure I put that on, to not upside down. And voila. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere that down. I'm not sure if you all can tell, but the, the butterfly paper has that same color of die cuts with a view paper in it. It's, it's um, almost a craft cardstock color. Um, you know, it's like a, a in between a light brown and um, a tan. And the die cuts with you just have some texture to it. It's not just a flat, solid piece. Now, this is, I'm calling this mesh ribbon. I'm not sure if there's a technical name for this, but I got this at the Anaheim Scrapbook Expo. 
and it's the same teal color as what the butterflies are. And I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, using that grandmother's stamp from Cards TV, I'm going to stamp right down here on the bottom left corner, which will help me um, get that stamp on there straight. And this part always challenges me if I try to fussy cat around a stamp that I've done. Inevitably, I'll do it crooked. So I, you see me, I'm going to start making the attempt to cut it myself. And then I hesitate and I say, no, I'm going to go ahead and put it through my paper trimmer. I'm off camera here. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I just, my straight cutting days are long over. Just, I've never done that anyway. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to back this up with a little piece of um, black paper that's um, a scrap paper. So I'm not happy with the amount of space between those letters. So I'm going to attempt or thinking about trimming it off. And I thought, no way, that's that's not even going to work. So I, I did do a little bit of hand, <coughs> excuse me, hand trimming myself. All right, so I'm going to glue the back of that and put it on that black cardstock. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm completely off camera. Oh, there I go. You can see a little bit. All right, well, hopefully I'll bring that back up there so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. And, um, you know, just a tiny bit of that black is going to show because I don't want it to overpower that stamp like oh wow look at this black piece of paper here now what I'm doing here believe it or not oh look there I am I'm punching a little hole so I'm going to make this look like it's a charm um, that's hanging from that um, teal mesh ribbon and I'm going to grab my this is silver string that I do not remember where I got this from. It's in my stash. I, I don't know the name brand. Um, I probably had it for a while. You could use anything. I know I've seen Tim Holtz um, has some of this. Um, I'm sure you could get it at any fabric store. It's really just, it's not tinsel, it's just silver string. So what I'm doing first is I'm tying a knot in that top hole. And then I'm going to wrap that string around the middle of that ribbon and tie a bow. And um, it's much easier for me when I tie my bows. Quite often I use the rabbit ear technique because the bows turn out straighter for me. That's how I ended up learning how to tie my shoes when I was a young old gal. And you'll see here that I'm kind of fussing with it because my first attempt was to do the bow in the normal way where you wrap around. And I just couldn't, couldn't accomplish that task. So I'll do the rabbit ears and I can adjust it, make it smaller like I wanted it. And um, I have to tell you a really quick funny story. I had actually done this entire video without having to edit or do a voiceover, I think that's what you call it, until the last 30 seconds. And somebody walked up to our front door and my dogs literally went ballistic that I couldn't finish, I couldn't finish the video because you guys couldn't hear me talking. And I had to get them to calm down. They just went crazy. So that's why I'm editing it this way. I do complain a lot about my dogs barking. Um, I, it drives me bananas, but I love my dogs and would never want anything to happen with, to them. And I don't have the heart to put bark collars or anything like that on them. They're just trying to protect me. That's their job. But could they do it when I'm not trying to do a video? Hmm. Might be possible someday. So I just used a little bit of score tape. 
to apply that ribbon and I'm going to here I'm adjusting the bow and I'm using a little bit of score tape as well to um, adhere the I'm calling it a charm I just think it looks like a charm that that um, sentiment tag on there and I'm trying to tuck the ribbon underneath it and then I'll trim off that silver string so that the tails aren't as big as they are now and you can kind of see that the um, mesh ribbon is longer than the card which is fine and I'm actually going to trim it right there <laughs> I don't know why I kept going off camera here and just trim that up alrighty so if you get a chance um, go by Cards TV, stamps.blogspot.com and order your stamps. Check them out. They're absolutely gorgeous. And um, here I'm contemplating on whether I'm putting those extra hearts inside. All right, check out the picture to follow.